Hello, I'm Shirin Meza. I'm the Competency Center Lead for Full Stack Development at Shell. In this presentation, I'll be discussing about how inevitable DevOps and inner source are for the success of an organization and share some insights about our, our inner source journey at Shell. The new definition of modern software engineering is driving innovation through customer-focused fast iterations with much more on the shift left approach. As you can see, it quality and security centered development is happening at much earlier phases of software development lifecycle. And there is also emphasis on the adoption of open source and inner source. Let's quickly discuss about DevOps. So DevOps is the union of people, process and technology to continuously deliver value. We are all aware how important DevOps is that determines the product health. Now, DevOps at scale is even better, right? We can see a lot more teams adopting to DevOps and working hard to generate value. But what you can see here is a pattern where team could be working in silos, or in many cases, they might be reinventing the wheel. So here comes the need to establish an ecosystem where practitioners are empowered and encouraged to share knowledge, skills, and code. So inner source can be a great means to break these silos and naturally cross-pollinate ideas, code across organization. It can also help you to accelerate adoption of software engineering best practices. You can leverage inner source from the intra-organizational learnings perspective for better understanding of what other units are doing and also enable better knowledge transfer. It eventually helps you to decrease the diversity of software components that perform similar tasks, thereby preventing the reinvention of wheel. So, for an efficient organization, inner source in, along with DevOps are critical. Now, where are we with our inner source journey at Shell? Well, there are many proven inner source success patterns available. Each organization is unique in terms of how it explores what is the best approach to accelerate inner source adoption because it requires both cultural shift and technical excellence on how well collaboration happens. The first area we looked at is to get a strong support from leadership to empower the inner source community in this journey. Inner source tribes were formed based on the technology stack or competency, whether you are doing cloud native development or data science or data engineering, or it could be even infrastructure as code. Forming these inner source communities helped us to bring together the subject matter experts to share the knowledge, skills, and code. We also looked at strengthening the development platform with the single source of truth for all the source code management. And we onboarded teams to GitHub. To foster the culture of transparency and openness, sharing of code was prioritized, which eventually resulted in a better quality and secure code delivered for their projects. While we have several thousands of repos within GitHub, right? It is kind of hard to identify which projects are inner sourced, how to find out the existing inner source communities and guidelines and trainings. We address this issue by designing an inner source portal that indexed all the content and made it available and easily searchable through a portal. We also made sure to increase the awareness on inner source initiatives, whether it can be the tech talks or workshops or trainings or coffee shop sessions. 
because we needed an ecosystem that emphasized the importance of inner source every day. We needed a community to let the contributors feel respected, belonged and recognized for their merits. In essence, I would like to reiterate, inner source is the path for organic innovation within an organization as it creates an open culture of collaboration that delivers faster by a high performing organization, which is kind of inevitable in this current state. And uh, with that, I would like to end this session and open up the Q&A.